Image Processing Toolbox is one of the interesting toolboxes in MATLAB. It consists of a comprehensive set of functions and tools that are designed for image processing and analysis. It enables users to perform tasks such as image enhancements, filtering, segmentation, feature extraction, and so on. With a wide range of built-in functions and algorithms, the Image Processing Toolbox facilitates both basic image manipulation and advanced techniques that are used in computer vision tasks right within the MATLAB environment. In this walkthrough tutorial, we demonstrate 10 basic image processing operations leveraging the power of the MATLAB Toolbox. Like always, we start our script by cleaning the environment so that's why we have to use the commands clear all, close all, and clc. Followed by our first task, that is reading and displaying an image. So here we have we have taken an image peppers.png and we have named as image underscore name. And we can use the toolbox command im read to read the image. And then we can show it using uh, I am show command. So let's uh, run the first section. So here you see you can see that we have the image loaded in our environment. Our second task is to convert the image from RGB to grayscale. So we can use the function RGB to gray to convert the image. So let's run the second section. So as you can see, now we have the grayscale image of the uh, input image. The third task involves the displaying of histogram. The histogram actually shows the content of black and white in the grayscale image that we just displayed. In the MATLAB toolbox, we have imhist command that can show the uh, histogram of the grayscale image. So let's run this section. So here you can see we have a color bar showing all the tones from black to white and we can see that we have more black content in the image and there are very less white spaces or white content in the image that's why the white uh, portion of the spectrum has very less values. In task 4 we are going to rotate an image so we have to specify the angle uh, on which, which we use to rotate the image. So here we are rotating the input image by an angle of 90 degrees so we can use the command im rotate to rotate the image. So you just have to be careful that the angle you specify should always be in degrees. So let's run this section. So here you can see now we have the 90 degree rotated version of the input image. In task 5 we are going to resize the image. So you have to specify the height and width. Here we are going to resize the image by 50% lesser size of the original mm, image. So here first we find what's the exact um, size of the image by using size command and then we are decreasing the actual height and weight by half and then we can use im resize command to um, resize the image and we will in the end we will display to see the final result. Let's run this section to see how it shows. So here you have seen that the original size of the image is 384 by 512 and that is reduced to half the size. There are various standards to represent an image from the classical RGB or the grayscale image and quite recently, there are other standards as well, where an image is represented in HSV, that is hue, saturation, value uh, standard, 
our LAB center where it is represented in terms of the brightness content in the image. So to uh, convert the image from one color space to another color space, uh, we can do this RGB to HSV command. Um, or if we want to convert to HSV or if you you can see the MATLAB documentation to see uh, how you can convert from other color spaces so just as to, uh, to demonstrate the function we are using RGB to HSV to demonstrate the color uh, space conversion process so let's run the task sys, uh, section and let's see how it displays So here you can see um, we have the hue section and such um, uh, saturation section uh, differentiated by different uh, color contents in the image. There are many applications where you know, one is interested to find the edges um, in the image. So uh, there are many edge detection algorithms. So here we can use the uh, canny edge algorithm, which is one of the best algorithms because it uh, determines both soft and hard edges in an image. Uh, other supported algorithms in the toolboxes are Sobel algorithm, Roberts, near canny, zero cross, log, and private algorithms. Again, you can check out the documentation in the MATLAB um, to learn more about these techniques. So to demonstrate the edge detection's um, capability of the toolbox, here we are using edge command and uh, together with the canny algorithm uh, to see how canny algorithm works uh, in detection the, detecting the edges. So let's run this section. So here you can see uh, we have all the edges uh, differentiated by black and white spaces. Next we have image thresholding. Sometimes we want the image instead of uh, grayish or the other color space, we just want a binary version of the image where uh, in, we define certain threshold uh, that can distinguish an uh, image which is in the grayscale format to binary format. So here we are defining the threshold as 128 and we are applying this threshold on the grayscale image to uh, obtain the binary image or the binary version of the image. Let's see how it performs. So here um, we run this section for task 8. So you see uh, all those uh, values where the um, grayscale uh, content is greater than 128 is uh, shown as white and um, and other lesser uh, values are represented as black spaces. Then uh, we go to noising the image. Uh, sometimes to perform the certain algorithms you want to denoise a signal or denoise an image that you get from certain source. So in order to simulate that uh, in behavior we are trying to add a noise in, the, in an image. So here we are, are adding a typical salt and pepper noise uh, with the noise density of 0 0.05 to our input image. Mm, so we can do that uh, by using im noise uh, command. So let's see how it appears. So here you can see that our input image is corrupted by some salt and pepper noise. And finally, we are going to apply some image filtering. An image filtering uh, try to mask an image uh, by applying certain uh, certain type of filter. So here we are applying an average filter of size 10 by 10 over the whole image. And uh, we are using IM filter command uh, to mask the image uh, of the uh, desired filter. Let's see how it behaves. So here you can see uh, that the image is um, uh, filtered or masked uh, by showing this kind of uh, blurring effect. So if we increase the color, uh, kernel size by 
uh, suppose 50 instead of 10 then we can see the effect uh, we can see even mm, the more blurring effect uh, on the image let's run it again and see the difference so you can notice that it is a very highly blurred uh, image uh, version of the image so these are the 10 tasks and uh, whenever you are doing any uh, image processing based application you might need to use one or more of these 10 operations so i hope you will find this uh, walkthrough tutorial uh, very useful as you can use some of these uh, operations in um, your image processing projects uh, do let me know how you find this video mm, and like always uh, please like, share and subscribe my video. Thank you very much. Bye.